How do you feel about Gen Z? Do you play it? Or do they go to any of the events you go to? You see younger crowds. Do you feel there's a sense of optimism? Absolutely. Them? Yeah, I think they're tapped in. Definitely. You know, I mean, they're starting to see the truth too. They're like, we see it. You know, so I have hope. I, th I think there's like two sides to it. it uh, things are just getting more extreme. So. Um, I think there is hope, and then there is also this despair element to it, where kids are being more sexualized. They're being more. Um, they're getting addicted to drugs at an earlier age. All that stuff. Things are just yeah. progressing really fast, and they're very influenced by media and tech, things like that. Um, whatever is popular, they'll really cling on to. But that that's like such an extreme. But also. Uh, to the other end of it, I think this is more of a minority how uh, there are people that see the pervas the perverse uh, nature of all this stuff. And um, it's it's like a minority, I think, but uh, like light, light always shines in the dark. So even though there is all this nasty stuff happening, especially with the youth, um, kids are getting crazier, the media is getting crazier, like songs and art and things like that. Like, because people always criticize me for what I do or whatever, but there there isn't a standard in music anymore, because if you look at rap music or even pop songs, it's all just sex or uh, even rap songs are about sex trafficking, human trafficking, killing people, things like that. And that's fine. That's like normal. No one criticizes that, but then... They attack me for, and that that's like a different, I'm going off topic here, but um, it, it seems overwhelming, but then, I, like I said, light always shines in the darkness, and there there will always be like hope for the future. You should always be positive, even though you, you will hang on, you sort of get distracted by all the negativity. We, we need to, we need to uh, maintain our um, individuality and independent, like in, individual, like in, individualism needs to be preserved it's at risk of being stamped out everything is being streamlined into one medium it's it's easy for them to basically just just you know uh, um, sort of conform to the hive mind culture it, it, right? everything just you know like everything's being mediated through the, we're listening to the music through the same medium that 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 uh, that we're playing it on I mean every, that, that we're watching everything everything's mediated through the same vessel it's all just in this one thing and it we used to do things in different in different ways we used to play instruments we used to do all, but all that stuff that we're doing now is just setting us up for a you know a Bluetooth apocalypse. They want to basically like get everything in one place so that they can basically turn it off. And we need to stop uh, making life online for sure. Like life is not online. The tech, fuck the tech world. Actually, just that's that's my tech fucking speech. Fuck tech. Just like seriously, like if you can get off, get off of it. Absolutely. Do, do you guys think that there will be, do, do you think that it will be like a splintered off civilization where like some people will be on these tech platforms, some people will be like in the woods or something? Yeah, but I, I mean, I think that like they're going to hunt down the ones in the woods and they're going to make sure that they're, they're chattel, you know, they, they, they can't exist. Which side, what, so are you going to go to the woods or? Uh, yeah, Maybe. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to dig a hole and I'm going to go underground. I think, that, <laughs> I, I, you know, everybody's going to go to Mars, right? I mean, no, I'm going to, I think we got, we, we got, we got a lot right here, dude. Just got to go underground. <laughs> All right. I agree with you about the, uh, the recklessness of tearing down the, you know, the foundation of civilization and, you know, believing it'll still be there afterwards. I, I'm curious if you'll, um, comment on the sort of meme warfare that's been going on over the past few years. You had first woke of like, oh, I'm inspired, I'm woke. Then based, oh, I'm not going to produce the collapse of civilization. And then, uh, and, and Lindy is another kind of concept. So these, these which one? Lindy. What's Lindy? So Lindy's based on the Lindy effect, which says when you observe something, you're likely to, you're most likely to be observing it towards the middle of its existence. So we've been drinking tea for you know, hundreds of thousands of years. We've been, you know, living in certain ways, building in certain ways, structuring civilization in certain ways. The things that have existed for a long time are much more likely to persist. The things that are new are much more likely to be blips. This is a, it's a, 
uh, yeah. statistical observation. The creatures of habit, yeah. Anyway, these are, but these are memes that advance the ideas and that respond to one another. And I think there's, there's power in continuing this conversation. Yeah, just continuing the conversation and... Um, I think continuing through music will be, would be beautiful, finding that light in the dark. I'm just glad I'm not in a Zoom conference right now, that's all. <laughs> that's right. This is a start, that we're not all in a Zoom meeting. Well, thank you guys for being on this panel. I thank really appreciate so it. Thank you so much. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>